So here's the thing, something that I wanted to share with you guys in case you are planning to start a YouTube channel this year, 2023. I'm going to share some thoughts. I'm going to share some things that I believe that may help you out. And by the way, welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I love walking around here. It's not too many people. Sometimes a little bit. I guess Wendy, but we're going to process the audio. It should be okay in a way so the thing that i would tell you is that if you are planning to start a channel on 2023 you're gonna see a bunch of videos about this in the community because every single year people record videos about this but my take is going to be a little bit simple i guess than other people you know a lot of people will give you advice like you need to buy this expensive camera you need to do this or you need to do that and my advice to you is that if you're going to start a youtube channel in 2023 is to keep it simple keep it very very simple because there is one thing that every channel does or one thing that a lot of channels do that essentially you know stop them from growing and stop them from being successful in youtube and the reality is that they stop that is the number one reason why a lot of people don't make it people just stop producing videos and the reality is that the reason why they stop producing videos is because they make their videos so complicated so complicated that they just cannot keep up they really can't so again you know this is an advice that i'm giving you if you are you know producing vlogging if you're producing just regular content obviously if you are a photographer or somebody that makes you know movies for a living you're gonna need to have like really top-notch quality but if you're a regular dude you know producing some videos again i tell you keep it very very simple okay i've never been back here but i don't know what's the deal with this usually there's another little walkway right here to the left that i take but today i decided to take this so again keep it super simple so in this case right now i'm recording this video it's actually being recorded in 4k 30 frames per second but i'm using a gopro hero 9 and i'm going to show you a b-roll here for you to see and again this gopro produced great quality and you know it's good enough i'm also using an Ulancy little grip that also turns into a tripod i'm going to show you that here as well the whole set up so you can see it and it is very very simple the audio is good the quality is good the little you know tripod good too in fact what i like about this tripod is that you could actually you know make it a tripod obviously and here it is so very very simple i just got a little tripod that is a grip as well so i actually could put it here and talk to you guys you could be really creative with this and come out with different ways to do this but again really really cool right i'm gonna show you how high this thing goes there you have it. So again, to me, it's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna see a lot of advice. You're gonna see people who say, concentrate on thumbnail, concentrate on the description, concentrate on the first 30 seconds of the video. And all those are excellent advice. Obviously having a good thumbnail is going to help. Again, really excellent advice. But the thing about it that I wanna say is to keep it simple. Because if you make it really, really complicated, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna abandon your audience, right? You're gonna build an audience. People are gonna start subscribing. You won't be able to keep up. And then you're gonna let it go, right? And the channel is gonna die out and you're not gonna be successful because you made it so difficult. And I'm gonna tell you, I know this. I started making videos back in 2013, my main channel has you know 60,000 plus coming up to 20 million views and all that and again I'll tell you this because I learned this the hard way sometimes the audience really doesn't care right this is not like Hollywood production quality right people just want to connect with you a regular person and people want to see you and people will forgive you if there's a little issue in the audio if there's a little you know editing thing that went the wrong way people will forgive you, right? So don't get so wrapped up around the whole concept and start producing content. Come out with a system that is simple, that is going to allow you to connect with your audience and produce content. So again, that's my advice to you for 2023. Let me know what you think. We'll see you in the next one.